Institute. My name. There we. Go. Yes, the the event is being recorded for folks who can't make it today, and will be posted on the uh, the uh, Getting to Know Michigan website. Again, I'm Angelo Patillo. I am the director of the English Language Institute, and uh, I want to uh, say good morning and or. Uh, um, good afternoon or good evening, <laughs> depending on which, however that may be appropriate to where you are in the world. Um, and uh, I, and then to say, uh, first of all, congratulations to all of the uh, new Wolverines who are here on this call. Congratulations on the on uh, joining us here at the University of Michigan. Uh, you, as I don't have to tell you, you've been accepted into one of the top universities in the world, uh, in the U.S. and the world. And um, I think you're going to find when you get here to Ann Arbor that it's a very special place, uh, University of Michigan. And one of the things that makes it special uh, is the amazing students who come here from around the world to join us here in Ann Arbor for just uh, for and, and makes it a lively, intellectually engaged and and uh, environment. So uh, we know that uh, if you were accepted into the University of Michigan, we know you have outstanding English language uh, skills. Uh, and I'm guessing probably one of the reasons you have amazing English skills is that you have worked hard on them and you have taken advantage of resources that have been available to you along the way in your student years. And so that we want to tell you today, our goal today is to tell you about the English Language Institute, which is a resource here at the University of Michigan to help you continue uh, re refining, polishing your English language skills right alongside your coursework while you're here as a Wolverine and uh, even before you arrive uh, here on campus. So um, we, I am going to get us going. Here's a little agenda of what's going to happen today in today's webinar. Um, we're going to do some introductions. I've got a couple of colleagues here with me in the call um, and we'll talk a little bit about how today's webinar will work. And uh, I'll tell you a few, just a few words about the English Language Institute or ELI as we call it. And uh, the, our, we have academic mini courses. We have a pre-arrival experience for you. This is what I was talking about a second ago that uh, maybe work a little on your language skills and prepare for life on campus before you get here in the fall. Uh, and then some resources we have uh, uh, for when you're here on campus, some one-on-one -on -one support workshops, and then a really cool uh, conversation circles program we offer for uh, informal language practice and uh, learning more about US culture. Uh, we'll tell you a little bit about our, our advising process here at ELI, which is designed to help you uh, uh, make uh, choices about our, our resources, and we are going to make sure we leave lots of time for questions from uh, you at the end. Uh, so I've already introduced myself, and uh, I'm going to ask my colleague, uh, I think you should be able to see in the screen, Anna, to introduce herself. Thank you, Angelo. Good morning, everyone. Good afternoon, um, uh, maybe good evening, and welcome to the University of Michigan. Um, uh, it's, it's a pleasure to be here. So I am here to help out uh, with any questions. So uh, I think Angela will, will let you know the, the procedure in terms of the questions. Um, so, well, let's get going. Thanks, Anna. And we do have one more colleague who, I, I, she apparently there was just a weird technical glitch, could not get into the, uh, the webinar is going to join here via my computer. So I'm just going to introduce her and then let her introduce herself in a second. Pamela Bogart, who is uh, a senior member of ELI's faculty, who is really going to uh, take uh, tell you about our resources. So this is how it's going to work. Uh, Pamela is going to talk for about 12, 15 minutes and present all the resources I just briefly uh, indicated. And uh, Anna is going to be monitoring the chat. So we, um, I'm sorry, the Q&A. So we uh, invite you to ask questions anytime along the way. She'll be uh, collecting those and uh, we'll answer those at the end. All right. I said, though, first, I'm going to very briefly tell you a couple words about the English Language Institute, or ELI. Um, so we're a department in the College of LSA, uh, but we see uh, we serve students and scholars at all U of M uh, schools and colleges. So whatever uh, school or college you've been uh, admitted to, ELI's courses and other offerings are open to you. Um, and our mission is really to provide language, um, academic and intercultural instruction, to help every, every member of U of M's community uh, achieve their goals and whether they be scholarly goals, instructional goals, you know, teachers, uh, scholars, researchers, and students, of course, in their academic 
courses. And so that's really important. We really serve only the U of M community. Our, our offerings are not open to other folks who are not uh, uh, Wolverines. Uh, and we also, we really work hard with other uh, colleagues on campus to make sure that U of M that, and Ann Arbor campus has a really open, uh, welcoming climate that, that um, supports people from all around the world, regardless of their cultural background or their language background. And, and we also work very hard to try to make uh, uh, U of M a more uh, globally oriented, connected place, partly by making sure that folks from around the world um, uh, are, are welcome and engaged and belong here. All right. And um, so I am now going to, we're going to talk a little, I'm going to hand it over to Pamela, let her introduce herself, and then she is going to take it from here. And then I'll be back at the end. Hi, everybody. So nice to meet you today. Um, let's see. I just need to pull up my notes. So give me just a moment. I want to make sure I don't miss any details. Angelo, can you show me where you have slides? We're not screen sharing now. Thanks everybody for your patience. Beautiful, thank you so much. All right, we are almost in business. I'm looking for a share screen and here we go. All right, thank you all for your patience. So let's start out with this list of our mini courses. Sections of all of these courses are small and give you lots of opportunities to interact with classmates and your instructor. When you're ready to enroll in a course, definitely add yourself to the waitlist and go the first day because most folks on waitlists do eventually get a space in most of our classes. Let's take a peek into each one. We recommend ELI 131 for your first year at Michigan if you'd like to improve your confidence and fluency in speaking. This fun one credit class is a great way to practice using language with other students and with staff and faculty as well. You can expect lots of ways to work on speaking and to get feedback from your instructor. Engaging projects include interviewing someone on campus and creating a group video with your classmates. If you're looking to find ways to feel more fluent in your speaking, this course is for you. We recommend ELI 210 at any time you want to expand your vocabulary and access that vocabulary more fluently for speaking and or writing. This one credit course is fully online and this means that you can engage with the course at any point in the week that works best for you. The learning materials can be highly customized to each student's vocabulary goals. The course focuses on tools and strategy to explore how vocabulary is used in lots of different spoken and written uh, communication. So we're not like memorizing lists of words and taking tests on them. We're using vocabulary to communicate. Students can even practice for upcoming presentations or interviews and get vocabulary feedback on their written work for other classes. The course's gameful design means that students can select lots of different pathways in the course. And in this way, you can personalize your focus to match your own vocabulary goals. In ELI 236, you can expand the ways you can use your voice to communicate effectively and confidently. Students can each work on the elements of pronunciation that are really going to help them be better understood by lots of different listeners. These are things like specific sounds or speed or intonation or pausing. Based on cutting edge research on what features of English pronunciation really promote clarity, this course emphasizes how there are lots of different accents that can effectively communicate together. ELI 222 is a unique course where students can work on both academic writing, like an essay or peer review or future academic things like a statement of purpose for grad school or scholarship applications, 
but also career related writing like cover letters, resumes and important emails. Students can expect lots of personalized feedback on their writing from their instructor. This is a useful course to take sophomore year or later. And then ELI 224, as far as we know, is the only course at Michigan that focuses on academic reading and the relationship between reading and writing that is core to so many classes at Michigan from economics to history to environmental studies. So in this class, you can improve your reading and work on the relationship between what you're reading for classes and the writing you're doing in those classes. As a reader, you'll be able to analyze um, things that effective writers do and then apply these in your own writing. Uh, in addition to interesting articles that students in the class pick for class readings, you'll also be choosing something that you really enjoy to read over the longer term. Your instructor will supply lots of feedback on your writing. This is also a particularly useful class sophomore year or later. But you don't have to wait for fall, as Angelo indicated, to participate in ELI's offerings. I'm sure you've heard the phrase, go blue, many times by now. And we've created a special four-week online course all about going blue for new students who speak English as an additional language. The small, friendly, interactive class is designed to be convenient for students from all different time zones and language backgrounds. The class includes optional real-time online meetings for students who want live conversational practice and lots of ways to communicate together on the course website. This unique course starts July 10th and there is still space. You can sign up on the ELI website anytime. And you happen to have already met the instructor, Pamela. I would love to see you there. Uh, why might you enroll in Going Blue in addition to the regular orientation activities? In this class, you can practice English as you explore campus culture and make a really tangible plan for how you'll get really connected with the campus community this fall. Once you do arrive on campus, we offer one-on-one -on -one writing and speaking support in our studio. Let's talk a little bit about this unique learning experience. In the studio, which you can visit up to four times every fall and winter semester, you can get individualized coaching and feedback on any aspect of communication that you'd like to improve. You don't need to sign up for a course and the consultations are entirely free. In the speaking side of the studio, you can create a personalized self-study plan for improving any aspect of speaking or listening. Some students want to find ways, for example, to um, accelerate their development of fluency or to work on pronunciation clarity in social conversations or to find ways to make fast speech easier to understand. You can also get help preparing for a specific speaking event like an interview or presentation at any stage in your planning and practice process. For the writing element of studio, you can come with a specific text you're working on from starting to interpret what an assignment is really asking for, to brainstorming ideas, to even refining your final written product. You can focus on any element of written language, including organization, using sources well, writing in an academic style, and making grammar and vocabulary choices. And you don't have to limit yourself to class assignments. You can use the studio to work on resumes, cover letters, and other kinds of application materials. So in addition to the studio and the courses, we also offer workshops, one-time events on very focused communication topics. Um, at these engaging workshops, you'll meet new people and we plan for everyone to leave with something useful to them. We change up the topics each semester based on student feedback, but here on the slide, you can see some recent examples focusing on public speaking, expressing yourself, communicating in office hours and email and making conversation with people in positions of authority. For a more sustained non-course communication opportunity, we offer weekly conversation circles. That's the program that Angelo said is a really cool program. Indeed, students love it. Um, the circles are for casual conversation, friendship, and cultural exchange. Throughout the year, we also host social events for all conversation circle participants. You could sign up for a circle in fall or winter or the summer, 
or all of them and meet up weekly with your circle friends to talk, hang out and enjoy campus activities together. There's no cost and no credit. Each circle is facilitated by a volunteer student or a volunteer staff member. And the circles meet at all times of day, every time of the week at locations all over campus. So you can usually find something that works really well for your location and schedule. We even have some online groups if that's preferable to you. As I mentioned at the beginning of our presentation and as Angelo mentioned as well, you can also find out more by meeting with an ELI advisor. You can see here on the right side of this slide, a picture of where on the ELI website front page, if you scroll down to the bottom, you can find the button to link to the advising schedule sign up all year long. So like now you could register for a fall advising appointment if you'd like. Chatting with one of us at ELI is a really helpful way to figure out which of our offerings will best help you reach your communication goals. To learn more and stay connected, you can always see the latest on our website or follow us on the socials. We hope that we'll be able to meet you this fall. Anna, what questions do we have from the chat? Well, so far we uh, haven't received any questions, but this is a very good time um, for questions. So feel free, if you, um, if you have any questions, feel free to share them with us um, via the Q&A and we'll be happy to answer them. Terrific, thank you, Anna. I see. I'm just pulling up the Q&A panel. So we don't have any questions at this point, Pamela. All right, well, let's back up and, and um, chat a little bit more about um, some of our offerings and kind of how they might fit into um, one's first year at Michigan. I'm gonna go back to the slide on our mini courses um, and uh, take a look at these courses. So when students arrive on campus in their first semester, there is a lot going on. And often first year students have a lot of really big classes. And so this is part of why students really appreciate taking ELI 131, either their fall or winter semester, because it's usually just like 12 students in the class. We keep our class sizes really small so that you can get to know your classmates really well. You can get lots of attention from your instructor. And this particular class can be kind of a place to process all of the other pieces of making academic life work and communicating um, with other students in class, at social events, outside of class, in dorms, um, and uh, it's kind of a fun and lighthearted way to like relax while becoming more confident and doing everything else. Um, so that's part of the reason that this class works so well your first semester. Um, if you don't have time in your first semester, because some students are trying to maximize a lot of requirements in their first semester, um, this can be a really nice class to take in the winter term, your second term at Michigan. Um, because you'll have a really clear sense by then of exactly where you feel comfortable and confident and what kind of situations for speaking feel a little more challenging. And so you can really focus your intentions in the class um, to match where you feel like there's um, some gaps in confidence in speaking that you'd like to fill. Is there anything, Anna, you wanna add about uh, 131? Um, no, not at this point. And again, we don't have any questions at this, uh, at this time still. Um, uh, and yeah, no. Okay, no problem. We can, I, I could talk about ELI's offerings all day, as you can tell, I'm very excited about them. So um, I will keep sharing and we can keep an eye on the Q&A to see what questions might arise from our participants. Um, we had mentioned a funny word in talking about ELI 210, that is a gameful course. 
Um, and so I'll circle back to that just to describe that, that the idea of uh, gameful courses has gained a lot of popularity at Michigan. So there's a small set of courses across the university that are organized sort of borrowing elements of online multiplayer video games where not only do you get to choose your own way through the game, but everything you do can earn you points. And um, you can take risks and be fine because you get do-overs and you get restarts and you keep growing and learning and your points keep accumulating. So that's um, the way in which uh, this class works. And you'll see a few other classes at Michigan that work similarly, where you get lots of choices and those choices encourage you to take risks in your learning because everything you do will just add maybe a little bit, maybe a lot to your final course grade rather than penalizing you for trying. And this is one example of the many different ways in which ELI is um, connected with other undergraduate classes at the university to provide opportunities to practice the kinds of language that you'll be using in classes in your major and in your distribution requirements and in your electives. Um, with that, I think unless we have uh, any additional questions, we could wrap up today. Thank you so much for joining us. I'll leave you with our contact information on the contact slide. In case you want to note down our website or our social media handles. And any last words, Anna or Angelo? Um, no, thank you, Pamela. This was great. All right. Thank you all. Have a wonderful day or evening. Bye-bye. Thank you. Bye-bye.